think everyone agrees that sheep basically are driven by two instincts of fight or flight. And in most cases with sheep, it's flight. So if we introduce a, she a dog to this sheep and our lamb, for example, like th the first thing they're going to do is look for a way to escape. So in 99% of cases in a situation like this in an open field, the sheep has all kinds of escape routes open to it. So the last thing it's going to do is pull it, turn around and fight the dog. If the dog stays at a reasonable distance, she'll keep traveling. Even if you were to walk in with a terrier or a pointer or a labrador or something, the sheep is going to move away from that little bit of discomfort or a little bit of threat. So in most cases, the dog doesn't even need to have power with a sheep or a yaw and lamb or anything in an open sort of a situation like this where the sheep, all the sheep has to do is move off. So the dog doesn't need to have power, it just needs to probably just appear and the sheep will move. And it just needs to follow them to keep them going in that direction. And so even if we're doing something like we were taking them through a gateway and there was a small bit of resistance, well, there isn't really any resistance because the sheep is going to know that the escape routes are going to be open to it again the minute it passes through that gap. And now in the case of EO and lamb, you might need to give her a little bit more room because she's going to have that maternal instinct. Well, depending on the EO, I saw one in, in a video on this post earlier where the EO ran off and left the lamb. So you can see that maternal instinct isn't much of a factor when that happens. But where there's maternal instinct, you might need to give them a little bit more room and a little bit more time to choose their escape because there's just a bit more motivation there to fight and defend its lamb if it has a strong maternal instinct. But now when you need to get your sheep or your yaw and lamb in this case into a trailer, so into a confined place, so the very opposite of flight, there's no escape route here, it's the opposite of escape. We need to, we need to confine them and we need to close them in. So in this case with the yaw and lamb, her first choice is going to be to flee, of course. The last thing she wants to do is go in, risk going into that tight space where all her options are cut off. So now the dog has to change from nice, easy, giving the sheep space and giving her time and giving her room to hold on there now. We're going to close off your options here and you're going, we're going to have to, you're going to have to go where we're going to put you. So in the case of her yaw and lamb, she starts to change now. Her whole deal is different here. So it's time to defend her lamb and to fight and resist against being cornered up and put into the trailer. So it's a whole different scenario. So we can't compare this scenario to some sheep just, you know, tipping on down the field with the dog walking behind her because this is a new dynamic now. So as the handler now, we get to find out what our dog has or what our dog needs or what training, what extra training it needs to have, you know, are its flanks clean or its off balance flanks correct? And does it walk forward when it needs to? And then when it meets resistance, is it able to deal with it? And so can we achieve our objective? And so if we can achieve our objective, you know, and if we've got difficult sheep, well, we, we, you know, we find out that our dog is working fairly well. So in any conversation about power or a dog's character, you know, really to, in order to assess it, we need to look and see, wait there now, is, is the dog meeting any adversity? You know, is the sheep in flight or is it in fight mode? So if sheep are out in an open field and they're fighting with a dog, well, really, you know, maybe that person has the dog too close to the sheep. You know, because uh, there should be no reason really to fight out in an open field. Whereas when you're trying to make a sheep go somewhere it doesn't want to go, maybe you're trying to make it go through a mucky wet place or through a little river or like in this situation where you're trying to load sheep into a trailer, into a confined place when there are lots of alternatives for the sheep. There's lots of places to escape and you need them to go into the one place that they don't want to go. Well, then you can see adversity. So there's no real point in, in talking about dogs out in open fields pushing sheep nowhere because you know there's no there's no resistance for the dog so that's just you know it's a thing to keep an eye out for it's a thing to bear in mind is it in fight or flight uh, if it's in fight if the o is in fight does or the sheep does it need to be you know is it bad handling or is it a difficult sheep or you know so that that's what you need to look at rather than be just comparing situations that aren't relevant really